In this video, we're going to learn how to make some changes to our workspace to allow us to show different station and different station tick mark intervals based on setting them to different levels. So the user will be able to turn on and off the appropriate levels to get the appropriate intervals. We want to start by opening our master features and annotations file in our workspace. In my case, it's going to be the examples workspace, the Imperial. And we want to open up Explorer, navigate down to your annotation groups, where we have our stationing set up. And so that's under plan linear. Right click and select manage. Turn off the display to make all of this go a lot faster so we don't have to wait on refresh updates. The top three entries in my example all deal with intervals of station tick marks and station labels. So we have the major tick marks, the major labels, and then the minor tick marks. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at what these intervals are set at. Right now, my majors are set at every 100 feet and my minors are set at every 25 feet. Let's go ahead and rename these so that we can keep everything straight. So I'm going to add the number 100 to the end of my major ticks and my major station labels, representing the interval, and then 25 to my minor tick labels. Now we know that these are going to be going on certain levels using the microstation element templates, and so you can see the path there uh, to each of these entries. And so what we're going to be doing is making some changes now to our element templates and our levels to prepare us to go ahead and get ready for these different levels based on the intervals that we desire. So let's close our annotation manager for a minute and go to our element template editor. Under annotation, sheets, plan is where our entries are. And we're going to have three, we actually have four entries. One of them we're not using right now, but for consistency, I'll go ahead and modify them. I'm going to rename these as well. So station labels major 100, station labels minor, we'll set that to 25. That's the one that we're actually not using in this example, but just in case. Then we have station ticks major, and again, that'll be 100. And then station ticks minor. So that's just the tick line itself. We'll set that to 25 as well. I'm going to go ahead and just rearrange these just to keep them together. So we'll move that one up. And now what we need to do is take a look at those level assignments. So I'm going to go into the levels and I'm going to rename those accordingly as to what we just set up. So there's our late major labels and our major ticks, both are 100. And then we have our minor labels and our minor ticks are both going to be 25. Now in our example, I want to go ahead and do a, a major of 500 and a minor of 100. So let's copy these four entries and paste those. And let's rename those accordingly. So this will become 500. This will become 100. It's our minor labels. And we have our major tick interval, so that's going to become 500. And we have our minor ticks will become 100. So now we have four levels renamed and four new levels created. Now back to our element templates, we need to set the appropriate levels for those element templates that we already have done. So we'll go ahead and set those. Now we want to copy these four element templates. So we'll select them, right click, copy, and then we can paste those. If you go back up to the plan folder and select the paste icon, now let's rename those accordingly. So that's 500 and 500 for the majors, and then 100 and 100 for the minors. And 
and then we'll set those levels on those element templates accordingly. So there's the 500, 500 on that one, 100 on this one, and then finally 100 on this one. So we're done with our levels, we're done with our element templates. Now we want to navigate back to the annotation manager so we can go ahead and close the element template dialog, right click again to manage our annotation group, make sure you turn off your display toggle, and now I'm going to change to these new element template names. Because remember, we renamed those so those linkages will get lost. So got to reset those first. So that's our major ticks. And then we'll do our major labels. So we'll go pick that element template. And then finally, we have our minor tick marks. So station ticks minor 25. Now we're ready to set up our entries for our 500 and 100 combinations. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select these three entries and select copy, paste. So we'll do this, the top one one time, then we'll do the labels one time, and then we'll do the minor ticks one time. And that puts them at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and rename these. So we have our major tick marks, 500, our major station labels, will be 500 and then our station text minor will become 100. Now we're almost done. So now what we want to do is change the interval first. So this will go from 100 to 500 and then set our different element template, which puts it on a different level. So this is going to be our station text major 500 where we had 100 before which is there. Then we'll go to our next entry and we'll do repeat the process. So we're going to change our interval here to 500. Pick our new element template. And then we'll get our last one, our minor tick marks. Now this will become 100 and then we'll skip every 500th position. And it will pick that element template. That's it. So, and you have other combinations, you can just follow the steps that we just did, maybe for like a small scale, for example. Let's go ahead and create a new test file just to see how this all works. And we'll go to our geometry tab. I'm going to turn on our feature definition toolbar. And we're going to select our active alignment for Geom Baseline, make that active in our feature and tell it to auto annotate. Then I'm going to go to my complex geometry by PI. And I'm just going to strike a couple of tangents with a radius in between. And then right click finish. And to see our annotation, now what happens is right now we have both sets of annotation. And so if we go to our level manager, you will see my two different sets of levels now are present. We've got the 100 and 25s, and then we got the 500 and 100. So if I turn off the smaller intervals, you will see that I now have majors every 500 and minors every 100 feet. If I want the opposite effect, I can turn off my major or my main long scales and turn on my shorter scales. And so now you'll see the 100 and every 25 feet. And so this gives you a way to have all of your stationing of all your intervals present at once, just turning on and off the appropriate symbology.